Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, bitch. Y'all know what to do by now, honey. You know, like, comment, subscribe, share, all the things, girl. Tap that notification bell. That way you're updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Girl, this curl just has a mind of its own. Whatever, I guess I'll just leave it alone. Um, you know, follow me on Instagram, child, at YV Speaks, as well as my business page at Tika Naturals. Girl, girl, hopefully y'all had a great weekend. It is now Monday, honey, the beginning of the week. The most dreaded day of the week. And let me tell you, the only reason we hate Mondays is it's a constant reminder <laughs> uh, that, girl, <laughs> your fun is now over. The majority of people across the land work Monday through Fridays. And girl, Monday is just a reminder that, bitch, we got to get right back to it. My thing is this, right? Most of us work five days a week. You got some people that work every day of the week. God bless y'all. But why would y'all think that, and depending on what type of work you do, because some, you know, work in more labor-intensive environments than, than others do. So my thing is, what makes you think that two days is enough for someone to rest? Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Like, I'm going, I don't work five days out of the seven. You know? What makes you think that two days is going to be enough? Because the first day off is you just catching up on rest. And that's if you can afford that. Some other people, you gotta you gotta clean up the house, you gotta you got shit to do, you got other things going on. You may have kids, girl. Like you may have a an active type of life. Like I just don't see like where two days is just enough. You know? How is that enough? Anyway, but girl. Here at the gym in the parking lot, I just got here. Um, I recorded a video earlier, but girl, it started pouring down raining and the volume was just really horrible. And I, I live like five minutes away from this gym. And when I tell you, you don't hear no rain, you see the sun is out, girl. Like, damn, Florida. I know I'm born and raised here, girl, so I'm used to this shit, but it's just like, it looked like fire and brimstone five minutes away from here. As soon as I got in the car, <laughs> y'all know I always start my videos while I'm in the parking lot. As soon as I get in the car, I start the video, talk for a couple minutes, and then we go on to the journey of where we going that day, whether it's to the gym or whether it's to run errands and shit. <clears throat> Girl, I had to get in the car and go. It was just so loud. And then... <laughs> began to drive away and here we are in the fucking uh the land of oz bitch compared to kansas girl like seriously like sunny and beautiful um i do understand that we have a hurricane coming through uh i'm outside of the cone of uncertainty this time around it seems but um i'm a true floridian i understand the crazy almost supernatural type of weather phenomenon we be having here so anything can happen girl just because these meteorologists say oh well it's going this way girl i have seen firsthand that hurricanes don't always end up where they say they're gonna end up uh for instance hurricane katrina was actually supposed to be for florida but at the very last minute, she said, nah, y'all would be devastated. We, we, I'd be feeling like these hurricanes are literal spirits with consciousness. They have understanding. <laughs> and girl, we ain't trying to kill everybody. So let's just go ahead and skip you. And we're going to go ahead and devastate New Orleans, child. Oh, girl. But again, I have seen it time and time again where... It never happened the way the so-called specialists and professionals say that it is going to happen. Weather is, 
Mother Nature girl, it's almost as if it's self-aware and like I said earlier, uh, very supernatural vibes. It, it, there's an understanding, there's an awareness, there's a consciousness there. Um, I feel like there's a lot of emotion there as well. You know, legend has it, girl, you know, that hurricanes, um, just looking at the point that they originate from, which is the um, west, was it the western coast of Africa, you know, it follows the exact roots of the slave trade, girl. So, you know, they say those storms are in those hurricanes and that weather phenomenon is conjured by our ancient ancestors spirits, bitch. OK, but now with global warming and <laughs> the devastation and the pollution that we have wrought on this world, they are now forming any and everywhere. Girl, let me tell you something. California just received a hurricane, I believe, for the first time, you know, Hawaii is is has been getting hit left and right. I don't know what Hawaii getting hit with, girl. Is girl special bean cannon, girl from Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z, bitch. Like we don't know what's going on over there in Hawaii. Um, we're gonna talk about that at another time. But there's a lot of things that I've been seeing. A lot of um, eyewitness testimony, girl. And there's a lot of um scandal, corruption. There's a lot of foolishness. Hello, God, going down over there, and. To think that it could all be just to <laughs> swallow up these people's land. Because that's the conversation that's happening now. These poor people are in the midst of still missing, mind you. Most people are still missing. Um, <laughs> the death toll hasn't even been accurate so far. Especially, you know, from what we've seen and from what we're hearing. Like, come on now. Um, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of corruption going on over there, girl. Um, real estate investors, billionaire tycoons, and you, you got a lot of people harassing these folks, wanting to know what they plan on doing with their property, girl. They haven't even had time to mourn. Some of these people are still looking for their lost loved ones, girl. And we're talking about. Hawaii, who is surrounded by a fuck ton of volcanoes. Haven't they had like two volcano eruptions in the past two years? Now they had to deal with a hurricane and some weird ass fire that set ablaze a whole entire island. Girl, please. But anyway, um, so yeah, after the gym, I'm gonna go back to the store. I'm going to stock up on some water. Um, I tried to get some yesterday. They only had the gallons available. So I bought like seven of those. Um, they're only a dollar or something a piece. And um, I'm going to try to go and see if I can get my usual. Because um, Aldi's has the best purified water, in my opinion. Uh, I know a lot of y'all like, bitch, water is water. No, you can taste the difference in water. You can taste the difference. For the longest I drink Publix. And then I discovered Aldi, and I was like, ooh, honey, Aldi got some good-ass purified water. So I just need to get that purified water in um, the bottles, the 16-ounce bottles. And they're like $3 for like 35 So I always end up getting like three cases. And go ahead and stock up on your shit now, because when emergencies and shit are declared, that's when they start limiting, you know, essential items you only can get like one or two per person or whatever, girl. Fuck all that. Go ahead and get my shit now. Go ahead and get my shit now. Let that pre-workout sit in. That's why I don't mind doing this video while I'm waiting to go in the gym. Let that pre-workout stew a little bit and get me animated. But, um, girl, let me tell you. I need to get some stuff anyway, though, because I like to have uh, an emergency essentials kit anyway, because, again, I live in Florida and you never know power could the power could go out. And like I said, girl, these hurricanes are known to switch trajectories at a um, moment's not even a moment's notice, bitch. So I'd rather be prepared. Well, they say I'd, I'd rather have it and not need it then need it and not have it okay i always try i'm like batman bitch i'm all i always i try to always have a contingency 
and then a contingency for that contingency. Hello, God. And maybe that's just the Capricorn in me. We're really good planners, girl. Shit. In my job, they have us, everybody signing up. It's it's optional if you want, if a hurricane does come, like we do it every year during hurricane season. Um, I did it one year, girl, I made so much fucking money. But that was when I was paid by the hour. Now that I'm a salary employee, girl, y'all, no. <laughs> No, and I learned my lesson, girl, like, I'd rather just be home, hello God, or be around friends or loved ones during a hurricane, um, especially if it's going to be one of devastation, okay, period. I understand that someone got to be there with the kids, but y'all got a fuck ton of employees for that. And like I said, unless y'all tell the salary workers that we're going to go ahead and give y'all a, you know, a bonus or pay y'all what your salary is by the hour plus overtime. Then we might be able to talk. When I worked in the adult treatment setting during Hurricane, uh, was it Matthew? Girl, let me tell you something. We were at a hotel for a whole week. Do you know that my check was like $4,500, girl? <laughs> they paid us around the clock. And I was a manager then, girl. Let me tell you something. I had that thing organized. And that's when I, again, worked with adults. So it was a lot easier to coordinate. I would not like to do that with the, the teenage population that I work with now. Because, girl, no. They already like to wreak havoc on your ass in, in a regular setting. Imagine hurricane foolishness and the craziness surrounding that and then being cooped up in a hotel. No. Uh-uh. But yeah, girl, I made so much fucking money. And that was after taxes, girl. When I saw that check hit, I said, oh, girl. And then I ended up getting another check because my apartment at the time, not where I live now, um, but my apartment at that time ended up getting a little bit of flooded, a little bit flooded in my bedroom area. And luckily, like I said, I prepared for any and everything. So before I had packed up for this week stay at the hotel with my job and the clients, what I did was I moved everything because I had a really cute apartment then. It was really cute. Um, there's a sliding glass door in my in my bedroom area and I just had and I was on the bottom floor and I was just thinking to myself like girl it might flood so let me move everything from this area to another area and girl I wrapped my bed in plastic I fucking moved my dresser I put a big ass garbage bag and taped it around that like I closed up my closets real good picked up everything off the floor when I tell you when I had came back from them seven days girl My bedroom was flooded a little, not a lot, but a little bit, but it could have messed up my bed. It definitely would have messed up my dresser. And again, ain't no telling how long it was sitting for. Did it flood the first day or the second day? Um, Cause girl, those storm surges were no, were no, huh, girl, were no joke. And um, girl, I called, um, I put an application through FEMA, girl, FEMA sent me $2,000, bitch. They didn't even send a claim person out or anything. They were just passing out checks. Um, I lost all the food in my fridge. Why is this bitch parking next to me? I lost all the food in my fridge. Girl, like, it was done. Um, and I guess if your area was one of the, the registered areas that got affected, like it went by your zip code or something like that, they were just passing out checks, girl. They were just passing out checks. Um, but yeah, definitely that's a cute reminder to go ahead and try. I'm going to see if I can go ahead and try to get some renter's insurance, but I don't think they'll let you once the hurricane season hits because imagine if something does happen, right? Not only will the um, insurance cover my vehicle, FEMA will cut a check for that. And 
if something happens to my apartment or my property inside of my apartment because last year or the year before last a tree fell down and almost went through my one of my bedroom windows girl at the time I had renters insurance but now I'm like, ooh, girl, and I think I have like up to 20,000 or some shit like that. Girl, ain't nothing in my apartment worth no 20,000. Go ahead and let a tree fly through that bitch and go ahead and, and I'll finish the rest of the destruction. I know y'all like, oh, that's insurance fraud, girl, whatever. They don't know. I've been and poured some got that damn hose from outside and then poured all that damn water on that floor, girl, and fucked my whole entire house up, girl. P play with me. Run me the check. <laughs> run me the check because if y'all cutting checks for just a little bit of water getting in my bedroom right you didn't ask for no proof you didn't ask for nothing you just cut the check 2000 girl the groceries I had in my fridge probably was about $200 worth of groceries maybe Again, the water, now it did bubble up my tile or whatever that shit is. It like created a swell or some shit. But girl, maintenance came and handled that real quick. And like I said, there was no loss of property or anything like that. So I just made two grand on top of all of that overtime I racked up with the job, girl. Hmm. Whew, I need another financial moment like that. But anyway, girl, yes. But I do need to um, get prepared, though. I need to get some more canned goods, um, burners. Because let me tell you, a couple years back when um, me and my brother were living together, girl, please, that hurricane came through. We were swimming in the pool. We did lose power. Um, we were swimming in the pool, girl, on top of that. Um, bitch, we had tons of food and shit like that, girl. And what else can we do? Cut that damn grill on. Hello, God. We cooked up all the food. We had a big old celebration. Yeah, Floridians, we <laughs> we deal with hurricanes a lot different. That's why people call us nuts down here in Florida. Because, yeah, we were drunk. Girl, we were so drunk. We were just having a time of our life. We created a little charging station, you know. We all had full tanks of gas in our cars, girl. So, shit, we had a party. We had all the accoutrement, the liqueurs, honey, hello, God, the drinks were flowing, girl. We had all the things you need, require, and desire to weather the storm, girl, to weather the after storm, too. Mm. So I just I'm 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 obviously you know I wasn't old enough to really experience the full effects of Hurricane Andrew and you know that was a very historical hurricane that fucked up most of Florida like complete devastation in the nation girl like the kids were fucked Florida was unrecognizable after Hurricane Andrew. The money, hello God, the, the property damage alone, girl, I don't I don't remember if any lives were lost like that, but I'm quite sure there were. Like, whew. I just don't think that I want to, no, I don't think, I know that I don't ever want to experience something that devastating. To where, like, my life, my loved one's lives are literally at stake because i don't think people realize when you're dealing with a hurricane it's not just the hurricane itself it's what the hurricane brings those types of wind speeds are so dangerous to where a car can be lifted up to where a house can be demolished within a blink of an eye girl <clears throat> like whole cities being toppled you know you walk outside, you can literally, literally be sliced in half by just whatever object is being picked up and hurled around by these wind speeds, girl. 
Talk about dangerous. Talk about scary as fuck. You know, where we look around the world now and we are seeing wildfires everywhere. I think um, Louisiana's going through some weird ass, devastating wildfires. We're now Texas, girl. We just talked about Maui going through what they're going through. Girl, <clears throat> California is always having some weird ass wire, a wildfire surging around, destroying land and, and, you know, people too, hell. We have these massive mudslides, girl. Just so much is going on in the world and it, and it makes me stand even firmer in my belief that the earth is, a, is obviously a living organism. Mother Earth, Gaia, whatever you want to call her, is fighting back because of what we're doing to her. People, more specifically and more importantly, the leaders of this world refuse to acknowledge global warming and climate change. We're talking about the, the mass destruction of species, of animals and plants, and you know, even the resources. <clears throat> We're talking about shit, even humans being heavily affected by all of that change. Let me explain something to you. This inflation issue that we're, you know, feeling here in America is not just solely based off of, you know, oh, everything's going up. No, there's a there's something there's more than one or two things that are behind all of that. Climate change. Global warming is a major contributing factor to why we're seeing the price of goods go up. Remember, I talked about this a while back, girl. When the weather gets hotter, a lot of the stuff, you know, that we like to eat and buy and grow, it can't be grown anymore. It can't exist in, in this hot ass climate. A lot of people are like, oh, we're seeing animal species in places of the earth that we wouldn't normally see them. Or we're discovering a new species that we never even knew existed. Well, it's because the earth <laughs> is hot as fuck. And, and, the, the, and their fucking patterns of migration are, f are confused. So that's why you're seeing sharks where you wouldn't this time of year. That's why you're seeing and uh, they just discovered some alien looking species out in the Arctic or whatever girl. It was always there. It just was, it was buried beneath girl. Now it has no choice but to move around and, and find somewhere else to go because we done fucked up their, their environment. I think in Newfoundland, Newfoundland, Canada, um, somewhere up there, overnight, this big ass fucking glacier the size of London just appeared on their shores overnight. They said it must have broke off from a, a larger piece, you know, wherever it came from. But just imagine you wake up and you go to the, you know, to the beach girl or whatever, and you just see this big ass you're going to think it's the war of the worlds, girl. Huh? And then what's trapped underneath all this million, millions of year old ice? Disease, bacteria, filth and foolishness. And now we're hearing conversations coming out. Oh, prepare for a new Carisha 19 strain. Girl, I'm tired of it. This is y'all plan all along. You just trying to pick off the ones that weren't affected by the previous one. See, let me tell you what the rich people, the people, the owners of this world, let's tell the truth, the very rich, the people that we don't know, the people that we don't see, the people that play puppet master behind the scenes of life, right? These people, their answer to curing a lot of the stuff that's happening in the human experience, such as, you know, worldwide disaster, weather phenomenon, taking lives and all this shit. They, they count on all of those things to, to do away with the, the humans, girl, the depopulation vibes. So that's not doing 
what it needs it to do. So let's go ahead and let's bioengineer some shit and release it to the world. They just found, remember that girl, that, that uh, the old dusty ass warehouse girl that was um, ransacked girl by accident. They found a whole bunch of, um, you know, weapons of war girl, biological weapons of war girl that were being tested and all the things where they even found a strain of, you know, Carisha 19 girl, like, come on now. Come on now. I really don't even feel like going into the gym now. I'm being honest with you. I really don't. At this point, I don't. Maybe I should just go to the store and get it over with. But anyway, but yeah, girl, like it's a lot of this stuff is man-made, girl. It's 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 deliberate as fuck. How you know something's coming? That's what I want to know. What are? How are you preparing us for something that ain't here yet? Oh my bad, because it's a plan. It's part of. It's part of the plan. Yeah, it's part of the plan. And what are the what are the kids to do that we done found out that the all saving grace really ain't saving nobody? So now that we know that that's not one hundred percent, what are y'all doing to work on you know a real vaccine that's gonna actually do some real good? That doesn't have all of the adverse you know reactions to it. I'd love to know. Instead of y'all shunning the holistic, you know, remedies girl and, and the people that like Dr. Sabi and, you know, like all the girl, is she wearing butt pads into the gym? Girl. Anyway. We just got to watch, fight and pray. You know, do us, you know, protect your family, your friends, your loved ones, girl. Prepare yourself, you know, go to your natural um, holistic stores, your farmer's market markets, girl. Start getting on Google and looking up, you know, natural remedies, girl, that you can make in home and preserve them. Stock up. Start letting your immune system and your body get used to you taking these things now. My go-to is lemon, hello God, mint, ginger, you know, um, those are my go-tos, girl. Like you, you drink that in a water or a tea, you know, daily, every other day, just let your system get used to having these things in them. So that way, if something does try to attack you, girl, you already have the, the needed, required and desired nutrients in your body, the vitamins in your body help fight off whatever's trying to take you down. Because, girl, please. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I'm going to come back with another video to talk about this particular thing. But I feel like anything that's not working fast enough um, to kill more black people, hello, God, they always got to circle back around with something new. Okay, girl, we didn't get enough of them. We didn't get the quote. We didn't meet our quota. So let's develop new shit that targets people of color. And when that one don't work good enough, let's go ahead and do, you know, it's always going back to the drawing board on how to kill us off. I talk about this all the time, white supremacy, they realize that in the next 20 years, girl, the whole world is gonna be other. <laughs> Bitch, they ain't gonna be just Caucasian, honey. There's gonna be other. There's gonna be mixed races that's populating the fuck out this world. And specifically America. They hate that. They hate that. Trust. Anyway, y'all, I'm just going to come in here. I'm probably going to do the treadmill and just sweat more than what the fuck I am now, girl, in this hot-ass car. 
But I love y'all. Be blessed and never stressed. Again, food for thought, girl. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack, girl. Dessert, bitch, okay? And a smoothie. Mm. And a detox drink. Just real quick. Flush all the trash out. So you can be balanced again. Okay? <laughs> Happy and healthy, bitch. <laughs> all right, y'all. Bye.